Welcome back, folks, to another episode of What in the World Came Into the Store Today. Well, today, we got Tupperware. Yes, folks, it may be used for uh, macaroni and cheese, leftovers, other strange miscellaneous things. So, um, I always like to film these things, of course. So let's see what we got here. All right, so we got the letter and story. We've got, ooh, some cool... <laughs> you guys know I love PlayStation games, these old things. That's pretty sweet. Okay. That was unexpected. And we've got... Uh, let's get these binders out here. Unprepared, Rudy, on a tight, tiny little table. So let's see... Alright, so now let's get the plastic out of the way. Alright. So, let's see what we got here. So first thing... Uh, let's read the letter first. Let's read the letter first, everybody. Rudy! I closed my collection as discussed. If you revise duels purchased from fellow players that are heavy played, brain geyser clones, a few are light played, wheel of forchy, Vesuvians, and one being unlimited. Really? And one of the dual lands has a surface indentation savanna. I have no idea where it came from. Most of the cards were removed from the pack, but right into sleeves and books not to be touched for 15 years till I organize them. The Legends Pack, ooh, Legends Pack, yep. Legends pack has been opened. The rare and three com uncommons are all there. Ooh, okay. I left the common side of the pack so you can see how great Wizards quality control was back in the day. Is that sarcasm? It's bad quality control or good quality? I don't know what that means. Purchased it back in 1997 from a card shop that's no longer in business. How many times have we heard that, everybody? Isn't that sad? I also included six old Squaresoft games I thought you would enjoy since you also collected. Yeah, I appreciate it, Dan. Godspeed. All right, Dan, let's see what you got. First, let's look at this, uh, this funny little thing. Thought this was pretty neat. Uh, Alright, so. We. The Mindful. I, I don't even know what that. Kif. Kif. Tif. Tif. Kif. Oh, I can't read that. Alright, uh, and. Uh, oh. The. Um, these little things. I get people always wanting to collect these Black Lotus and Chaos Orb oversized cards. Three of nine and four. Okay. I'm sure like one or two of the pieces are always this tough to get and they're super annoying and. You can never find them. One of those type things. They used to do that back in the day with the Marvel cards. And we got... What is this? Bowser. Penis the guy. What is this? What is this shenanigans? Bowser. Well, my world is your world. Do you really believe you can beat me, Bowser? <laughs> That's cute. Kids back in the day, man. Used to have fun making your own thing. You need to cover it in tape? <laughs> That's cool. That's good uh, memory. Let's see what your Legends pack was. Oh! Oh! Ho -ho! Now that is a crimped card if I've ever seen a crimp card. Usually the crimping is just on the edge. Dude, look at that crimping. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like music on the side of the road. Oh my, I can rub my back or, you know, get the bugs out of my head from not taking a shower with that thing. It's like a comb. That is neat. You don't, I don't see crimped cards that are that crimped. Usually it's just a little bit. All right, that's kind of cool. Crimson, boars, anything really cool inside here? Glyph, raging. Uh, you said there's, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, twelve, thirteen. Um, I said there's 15. All right, maybe I moved it. Maybe it got shaken in, in transit or something. All right, well, that's interesting. Uh, let's, let's pick out something here. So this binder looks, appears to be... Looks like a uh, fourth edition set. You know, fourth edition sets are always very special, nostalgic to me. And you know what the worst part about it is? The amount of money and time it took to complete a full set of fourth edition back in the day was so expensive. I used to buy these for two ninety nine a booster pack at Books A Million and all those, uh, crap, what was the other, Borders? I don't remember the name of the stores. And um, they were three dollars a pack, and you had to buy so many packs to try to get a complete set. And now it's so sad that fourth edition sets, fifth edition sets, have such a small value. Oh wow, he's got a lot of duplicates of the. Um, looks like the cheaper cards too, the commons and uncommons. Wow, so cool, man! I love seeing it. These are actually this is a pretty nice condition set too. And remember, everybody, there was no magic online. You couldn't just redeem and get a full set. Ah, good old land tax. Along the way, I like to take out uh, certain cards, especially what I call uh, more hot, ta hot targeted, uh, high probability for counterfeit cards. I like to kind of check them along the way. You'll notice me doing that as we go through this. Definitely a lot of the duplicates of the commons and uncommons. Good old lightning bolts from 4th edition. Lords, I mean, isn't it amazing to think that if you had these same cards in like alpha, beta, 
the price jumps to like a thousand dollars a card. Isn't that amazing to think? All right, good old mind twist. One of the scariest cards of Magic. So cool, man. Again, not not a lot of money, everybody. Uh, strip mines. Seems like I got two copies there. There was no alternate art in the fourth edition strip mines. Remember, there's only one version, everybody. Uh, let's see, old Sylvan. That's uh, technically. I think Sylvan is Sylvan the most expensive card. I think Sylvan is the most expensive card in the set in fourth edition. Isn't that crazy? Boy, and very clean, nice fourth edition set. It's amazing that I never would have predicted in 2019 the most expensive card in fourth edition would be Sylvan Library. It's almost disturbingly weird. Uh, Triskelion, love it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're conver wait. Uh, I was gonna say, are we converting to fifth edition or no? It's still fourth. In some random vision cards, it looks like. Oh no, wait. Full set of visions? Are we going to visions? Okay, we're going to a full set of wait. No, partial set of visions. Doesn't look like a full. That's just wait a minute. It's just random cards. It's not even a set at all. God, these you guys remember these things? These world championship cards. Longest time everybody hated them. Now everyone's like, oh, I gotta get them. Ah. So anyway, it's just some miscellaneous, some weather light. I don't see anything too crazy. Ooh, it's a couple of lotus petals. Boop. Those are always cool. I was those always all day long. Five, ten bucks, man. Not a lot of money, but uh, they always hold a little bit of value. Some miscellaneous stuff. See some little cocoa action up there. God, this card. This is what I was talking about to you guys in the past. Does anybody remember how big of a deal this was for a while in Dragons and Tarkir and Standard? Oh my God, that was that was such a thing for a while. All right, let's see here. What else? Sarkham and Broken. Even the Undead Vizier. Anybody remember Sid C? I think it's pronounced. And uh, a couple little cards here. Oh, little Ultimate Masters up. Old Man Rudy. Little Kitchen Finks Uncommons. Uh, God, you remember when those things were 10, 20 bucks? And uh, of course, little, little stuff here and there. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so is that it? So that's the end of this book one here. So definitely a cool little collection. Pretty neato burritos. Um, let's take a look at some of these. I want I want you guys to share this with me. So first thing, Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, and uh, Chronicles. Are these complete? Uh, which, first of all, for those of you who don't know, fun fact for those of you still watching, this is first printing. Oh, it is the first printing! The Masterpiece Error with the eye. We have a first printing, folks. You guys see that? Masterpiece with the eye jumped over to the left. We got a first printing. All right. Everyone's going to go, wait, what? I didn't know that. That's super crazy. We got a nice disc. We got scratches on the disc. Remember, these black backings on these discs are super flipping sensitive. Wow, super clean. All right, booklets, same thing, just like evaluating magic cards. Very clean. You always want to make sure no ripped pages, no creases, no writing. Very, very, very nice. Holy crap, this is a really nice copy of Final Fantasy VII, everybody. And uh, usually disc one's the damaged one. Always disc two because it was in the middle of this and make sure this part isn't broken. And uh, usually the rest are spotless discs. Everybody, everybody, remember, people don't realize disc one in Final Fantasy VII was almost the entire game. Disc 2 and 3 have very little content on it compared to Disc 1. Fun fact, everybody. All uh, right, very, oh my god, super cool. Final Fantasy 8, oh my god. I loved it. A lot of people didn't like Final Fantasy 8. A little bit of wear on this booklet. Um, yeah, this one's got a little bit of wear. It looks like it was played or got some food, so that means the discs are probably going to be a little bit more scratched. Yeah, a couple scratches on these. And uh, still super cool. Usually the same thing. And remember, uh, Final Fantasy 8 had a little walkthrough in the back, too. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, still got the little uh, card in the back there. A little uh, neat little strategy guide advertising some other uh, Squaresoft games. Uh, what a good era in the video game world. All right, I've seen that. If anybody wants to see more like video game kind of breakdown stuff like this, let me know because I love this stuff, but I don't think anybody cares about it. I feel like most of you already left the video. Um, I guess we'll stop there. I don't want to burn too much of the camera time just for that. Just wanted to share. Absolutely love it, though. I really appreciate that. Um, I guess we can jump over to this binder. Kind of see what's going on here. All right, let's see what's in this one. So I say, oh, these are nice binders. Wow. These are really nice. Usually most binders I get from people's collections are so worn out. It's ridiculous. Uh, Ice Age. Looks like Ice Age with some duplicates. God, man, Ice Age. Four brainstorm, five brainstorms over there. God, Ice Age, man. I swear more people played Magic during the Ice Age era than any other time in Magic. And ironically, the cards have the least amount of value. What a what a backwards time. What a weird world. I mean, I remember as a kid when I saw that artwork, I was like, oh my god, look at that woman. Yeah, Tiny Rudy was like freaking out. And uh, just, what a, god, look at the artwork on this stuff. 
crazy. You look back at these things, all the people who spent so much money buying these single cards. God, heck, a two, oh my God, anybody remember this? Holy smokes, that brings back memories. Holy cow, that was such a big thing back in the day. That artwork, man, the first time I saw that, couldn't believe it. Great, great card. Whoa, look at all the Hydro Blasts. Man, good old Icy. This was an uncommon, remember that? And people, I remember buying and selling uncommon Ice Age Icy's for like 10 bucks a piece, man. It was a crazy time. Is this a full set? It feels like it's alphabetized and it's in a full set. Is this a full set? I feel like some of the cards might be missing. I don't know, maybe, I'm not really, God, the original Tarmogoyf, the uh, Le Goyf, for those of you who don't know that, uh, was not a big thing back then. And, uh, God, Mind Warp, the uh, diluted version of kind of Mind Twist. It's amazing when you really know the knowledge of how they diluted certain cards from the power level, and they adjusted some things, and then now, 25 years later, and they still don't have much value. Godly. I think it's amazing, I think the best cards in the set are the couple dollar lands. Isn't that amazing? And this card, I used to play with this as a kid, everybody. This uh, this Time Bomb card. Look at that. I used to, th I used to think that was the coolest card because of the artwork. God, I thought that was the coolest thing, man. Just saying. Just saying, everybody. A little memory lane for you guys. Thought a lot of this stuff was pretty neat. I think that's about it. Uh, I, I don't know if that feels... It feels like a semi-complete. Maybe there's a few cards missing. Lands, just lands of snow covered. Like I said, very cool stuff. Nothing super expensive or exotic there. Last binder. Let's check this one out, everybody. Uh, so this looks like the Revised. Um, it said only a couple dual lands, so I'm assuming this is also not a complete set. Because I see duplicates of the commons. Uh, uncommons. We got a common duplicate. Uh, there's brain guys. Oh, we do have two uh, nice little tutors. That's pretty sweet. Oh, wait. Is there more than one in there? I, mean, I always got to check that. I remember a certain card. No, that's just one. Good old Revised Tutor. Which is weird to think Demonic Tutor is actually in Ultimate Masters now. Isn't that amazing? They reprinted that after 25 years like that. Alright, Fireballs, Disintegrates, nothing weird. We got Fork, that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see here. Some Howls, Unholy Strains, a couple little Lightning Bolts. Ah, Lord of the Pit, Meek Stones, Mahamadi Dijins, Kurt Apes, Larry Nevin's Discs. Oh look, we do have one duel in. Always want to inspect these duels, make sure they are legitimate. And, uh, whoa, that's a nice condition one. And, all right, very nice. We actually have a real one. It actually feels kind of nice. I was like, wow, that's, uh, wasn't sure what was going on here. I was like, are we actually going to have any dual lands? All right, I thought I saw something. All right, very cool. So let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, wait, some of these, are these all revised? Yeah, I thought I saw an unlimited. All right, so we got another dual land here. Savannah! All right, and uh, these are the ones you always got to inspect. Oh, oh wow, I see the dent, what you're talking about. That's crazy. It's like a, almost a smash in the middle of the card. You guys see that? It's like a pencil dent right in the middle. I guess that's what he was referring to. That's creepy. That sucks. Maybe something fell on it, maybe, or when you're playing on the table. A couple soul rings. Uh, remember, Serendipa Free. Everyone always thinks it's worth a lot because of the misprint, but believe it or not, it's really not worth much. Ah, Tundra. There we go. Oh, and a Taiga. We got a Taiga and a Tundra. Let's check out these. And let's see what we got here. And, oh, very nice Tundra. Very nice. Oh, yeah. A little bit of strange lip on the top there. It's kind of weird. It's almost like a separation. It's like flared up separating there. Cool. Nice card. Nice card. Very cool. Very cool. You never know. You never know with this stuff, folks. Let's see what's going on with this good old Taiga. And Taiga looks, looks nice. God, very nice. It feels like these weren't even played. Hmm. All right, go figure. All right, what else we got here? We got Volcanic Island. And look at those Vesuvians. Oh, my good. Oh, look, that one is the Unlimited. I'll be darned. He was serious. I didn't realize that. I thought he was gonna, I thought he was just going to be like, ah, I think it's Unlimited. Oh, my God. I just dropped a near mint dual land. It's damaged. Wow, that is really nice. Yeah, we got another little. Man, too bad you didn't have all the dual lands. You only got a couple. All right, so we got some revised. Let's check out probably one of the coolest cards in this. Yeah, that is actually an unlimited doppelganger. What's the condition? Oh, my God. It feels different, too. Oh, man. That is rough. Oh, the corners even grease. Oh, it's got a crease. And, oh, from the front, it looks so nice. Oh, man. So, God, that coloring is so nice. Very cool. Very cool. 
All right, well, I think that's about it. There's our wheel. Definitely, uh, this, I think he said the wheel was played. And uh, no, the wheel didn't look too bad at all, actually. Oh, I lied. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's definitely played. Very cool. Looks nice, though. At least it's real. That's all that matters. All right, so what do we got here? We got a few miscellaneous cards, huh? What are these, fifth editions? We got some Legends action over here. We got some Dark Saga Strongholds. Um, let's see, all kinds of random Stronghold cards back here. Oh, wait, is this a set of Stronghold? It's alphabetized. It looks alphabetic order. It might be a possible stret uh, stretch. A uh, little Heartstones, a couple bucks a piece. Uh, a little Horn of Greed, original printing. That's pretty sweet. Uh, some Mana Leaks over here, Mind Games. Uh, <laughs> I remember that guy, Mind Warper. Oh, two Moxies. Okay. We got two Mox Diamonds over here. Good old Mox Diamond. Oh, oh. These stupid things get stuck. Let me see these things. Always got to check these. High risk items. Always want to double check, make sure these are actually real. All right, let's see what we got here. Hey, they're real. All right. Very nice. Very cool Moxies. All right. That's pretty sweet. All right, folks, I think that's about it. I think we only got a page or two left here. A couple neat little things. I think this is a partial stronghold. And again, it sucks that most of these cards have no real value. Except Sliver Queen. There she is. The most infamous slivers of all the world of slivers. Very cool card. All right. Very nice, folks. Very clean. A little bit of dirt and dust on it. Very cool. Very old. Very cool stuff, man. Really appreciate this collection. Great deal. Great, uh, great to film and see this stuff. Hey, we got a stronghold back here hiding in the end. Let's see if you make sure you're real real quick on camera. And yes, you are. Very nice. Okay. Well, hope you guys got to see some cool cards today. Hope you learned a few things. And uh, definitely interesting. Man, it's amazing the difference in the limited revise. Uh, too bad you didn't have all the 10 dual lands. Love these nice binders. Usually the binders I get are so rough and beat up. Usually they don't have much value. I guess for those of you still watching at the end here, we'll, we'll check out the old Chrono Cross here. What else was the other one? The Chrono Cross and these two. Final Fantasy IX was not well liked back in the day, everybody. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Everybody felt it drifted too far from Final Fantasy VII. Everybody was just screeching wanting more Final Fantasy VII. And of course, the PlayOnline.com strategy thing started, and that just made everybody angry. And uh, yeah, that was not a cool thing. That was the beginning of the end of the Strategy Guide era. Uh, the, now let's talk about Chrono Cross. Anybody? You got the original Chrono Trigger. You got Chrono Cross, kind of a spin-off of it. Oh, hopefully that disc isn't damaged. Let's take a quick look at that, make sure it's not scratched up. Oh, it's not. Thank goodness. Is that broken in the middle, the spindle? Nope, we're good. Yeah, that's one of the things you always want to check. Make sure this, and of course, when you deal with these booklets and things like that, for collectors and resale, you want to make sure it's got all the inserts in the middle there. See how they have the nice little... Uh, U-shape insert in the middle. Make sure there's no damage or ripped pages. Very nice, very nice. Chrono Cross. Uh, this, remember, I only like original black labels. I do not like green label greatest hit reprints. Can't stand those nasty, ugly things. Very cool. And, of course, this is when they did the Chronicles. There's a Chronicles and an anthology from, what year was this? From, 19, from 2001. Oh, man. It's about time. Seriously, it's about time. Final Fantasy IV. Anybody? Whew, man. Very cool stuff. You had both games in here. You had a booklet. Oh, absolutely love this stuff. I've got so many copies and collections of these things. It's just, I love collecting these complete ones that are black label mint condition. And I love the actual factory seal. I think they're all... Oh, I forgot this last one here. Uh, those, those of you who were not around back then, Xeno Gears was another one that I was a huge fan of. A little jewel case damage on this one. This is only, I believe this is only a one disc. No, it is a two disc. And, uh, God, this was one of the games that just, I loved this game, you guys. You have no idea, so. And, of course, in the back there, it even advertises some of the other ones. So, good old P.E. Parasite Eve, the Bushido Blade Series 1 and 2, and, of course, Brave Fencer Musashi. Great, great history there. All right, sorry to bore everybody on there. Great collection. Just wanted to share this really cool thing that came in today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something today. Very cool stuff. And, of course, if you don't, or if you're unhappy, of course, you can always play yourself some Penis the Gathering.